Hello from Western New York. And it's snowing, blowing, and all that sort of stuff. And Christmas is just around the corner. Um, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, after that, Christmas. And I'm going to apologize for not making as many videos as I, ha as I used to. You know, only making one a week now. But that's because, to be honest, not much is going on. I mean, <clears throat> I got snow coming, or rain, and the fact that I don't have anything growing in the garden. Um, I mean, at the moment, uh, the garden over here has been snowed over. Although, hopefully, said snow will protect the the squash that is currently in there. Um, at least the one, anyways. So that way, yeah, you can, uh, in spring, pick them up, break them open, save the seeds, if possible. So that way, um, I can try to get grow my own squash. Well, yellow squash, anyways. Um, radiolas. Probably should cut them down in the spring. But I need to trim this bush and the roses. <sighs> Take a look at my blueberry bushes. Whew. Some of them are kind of buried at the moment, which is good. Uh, they're kind of sticking out, which is okay because. You know, they're tall enough. At least these ones are part of the amount of snow. Although I can't hope that the shorter ones get a little bit taller. <laughs> um, can't hope that the honeyberries here do good next year. Along with the gooseberries. <laughs> Especially the Josta Bear and the Black Current and the Red Currents. Hopefully the grape swallows will do good. I uh, just spent the last 20 or so minutes shoveling off the snow from my porch. And like I said, hope that hopefully these gooseberries will be fine. I mean, they're okay this year, but the red hinamakes. I hope they come back. Can't see what the or can't wait to see what the Oregon champion does. Kind of hope the grapes do good over here. Of course, this one here is the wild, so never really counting on it to do real good. You know, on the quality of grapes, so they can hope they're good. If not, there's always another variety I can always try. I might uh, get a Candace. I've been looking at one of them. This is a Niagara. Um, depending on how this thing goes, grows next year, I may end up having to cut it out or, you know, I might be able to train it. Because the way it was grown was not the way I wanted it to grow. Let's see here. Christmas in a couple of days. <laughs> That's gonna be nice. You know, visit family and friends. And on New Year's Eve, I'm gonna be giving a speech in church. That's gonna be fun. We need to figure out what to say. Anyone know what to say in church? Anyone? <laughs> Yeah, red raspberries are doing okay. Though I am going to have to do a little bit of picking and maybe a little bit of pruning come spring. You know, figure out which of these canes is going to be worth keeping because, you know, not all of them are going to be good. Certainly not going to want all of them. I mean, right here's one. I see a 
I'll probably end up cutting out like this guy right here. You know, he's he's real short. Um, I'm going to need to trim out my um, fall golds. Along with my other fall bearing raspberries, but that goes without saying. Alternatively, I might just let them keep growing. Um, gonna need a check on these. Well, gonna need to take a look around here, take a look at the stuff that has fallen. That Obviously, I'm going to need to move. Among other broken branches that have fallen. Like this thing, I'm going to need to see about cutting it up. And moving it around, either for um, either for a fire or to add to my one hugel culture. Or another. Yeah, black raspberries right here seem to be doing okay. More or less. I'd have to do a little bit of trimming in the spring, but that comes with the territory, anyways. Um. Seem to be doing okay. And I'm gonna have to cut out the fall golds, as well as the Caroline. It's over in here. <laughs> and I know the Primark Freedom. I think I'm gonna have to cut out, or is it the Primark Traveler? Either way, it's a Primark. It's a Primacane variety. Basically, look for any of the blackberries and raspberries that have definitely died. You know, cut them out. Hopefully, the bulbs will come up right in here. Um, gonna need to buy some more dirt, that much I know, and probably got, probably got a good start, but, you know, that hurts him more, you know, more dirt, more compost, that sort of stuff, so now I'm gonna need to cover this up, of course, the local farmers are nice enough to deliver me a, a bunch of, uh, manure, I won't complain about that. Um, it's kind of muddy back here just a bit. Um, uh, hopefully most of these will make it through the winter. Oh, uh, need to be cut them down. Probably gonna need to add more to the structure of this. Um, either make it somewhat wider. Definitely gonna need to add, you know, plenty of dirt on top. You know, add some, maybe add some more to this. Certainly add some more to this side, this section right here. Of course, right in here. Of course, we got this over down there. That tree, and there's another log over in there. And of course, 
But I think I am going to need is a good lawnmower because I know, because I know I can get this thing all cut down. Just need a good a good lawnmower, either riding or push one way or another. And that'll be it, really. <laughs> oh, and it's almost been a year since I first started the, doing these. That'd be nice. Of course, we'll see what next year brings, because next year I probably won't be putting in as many bushes, but then again I got a bunch of seeds that I plan on trying to grow out here, you know, some kohlabi, lettuce, broccoli, you know. I'm going to try growing everything I can. The tomatoes might be a little tricky along with the peppers. That is growing them from seed. I mean, I know I can buy the actual plants themselves. <clears throat> and I'll probably end up doing that. But nothing adventure, nothing gained. Um, well, this is Western New York. Please subscribe if you like these, post comments, click the like button, all that sort of stuff. Okay, goodbye.